Let's we talk about for history's sake, for because of the Gen Zs of today. Because the majority of the thing is the truth is the fact that history is currently living, all right? Especially the history of Afrobeat and how it started. For likes of you, of course, um, your dad was the exponent of Afrobeat, which was started it from the start. And I want you to take us through how you felt in 1997 when your daddy died at the age of 14. That day, how was it? What exactly happened that day? And there's also this misconception of the thing that really happened. For history's sake, please tell the youths. Let us know what exactly happened that day. Yeah, I've been in the hospital. I've been sick for a while, you know. My own personal experience was just it was the most day and night kind of day. I'm telling you, it was the happiest and worst day of my life at the same time. Happiest and worst? I'm telling you because the news agencies had already said my dad died a week before. But he wasn't dead. You know, there was no mobile phone or social media in Nigeria in 1997. Yeah, exactly. You know, all these means of communication, even email was scarce, you know, like hardly anybody had email by 97. When my father's friends all over the world heard the first news that he had died, many of them came to Nigeria immediately like, fella is dead, you know? Because that was the only way to verify. Verify, exactly. So one of my daddy's very good friends, his name is Michele Avantario. He's late now as well. He bought me a PlayStation. That PlayStation, the first PlayStation. So when he came, he brought me the PlayStation as a gift. Me, I was head over heels. I was like so happy. I took the place, I said, I go home with the PlayStation. Me, they say, your dad died. I was like, what the, what kind of news is this? <laughs> my dad was my best friend when he was alive. He was the closest person to me, you know. And he was also the first person I know that died. Oh, I never oh, known anybody that died, died before. It was really devastating, you know. It was a weird kind of day. 